When Charles Fox Parham, the founder of modern Pentecostalism, was organizing the first converts to the apostolic faith, he became very impressed with cult leader Frank Sanford. Sanford had convinced numerous converts to give him all of their possessions to join his Shiloh cult, called the Holy Ghost in Us Society, or the Kingdom, which apparently had an enticing appeal for Parham. Parham appears to have partnered with Sanford before Sanford was convicted of manslaughter for starving several of his cult members. Parham coordinated his efforts between the apostolic faith and the Holy Ghost in Us Society. When Sanford toured through Kansas, attempting to persuade several young girls to return with him to his cult commune in Maine, Parham helped recruit young women. In 1900, Parham convinced young Lizzie Bell, the daughter of a prominent Topeka Methodist minister, to join him as he went to the Shiloh compound in Maine. Her father was on a mission trip to Africa at the time and was unaware that Sanford and Parham had gathered several young women to join in Shiloh. Lizzie Bell eventually escaped Shiloh, however, and wandered 20 miles through the woods to flee the clutches of Sanford. She was told that she had a, quote, demonic spirit and decided that it was in her best interest to flee. More than 50 men scoured the woods in search of the young lady. And when she was finally found, she exclaimed, their prayers were awful. They were enough to frighten anyone. If one dared to have any individual opinions against theirs, they would shout that the devil was in that one and all would unite to drive the demon out. I was terribly frightened. It was declared that the devil had possession of me. I ran away. I did not know a soul in the state of Maine except those at Shiloh. I had no money. I did not know where I was going, but I could not bear to stay there. I don't know where I have been, for I never saw the state until I came to Shiloh. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.